Phil, you start it in five minutes. Five, five minutes? Oh, oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hey! <laughs> Hello. So, um, we are uh, Simon, Van Mader, Malek, and Mathieu. And um, on tonight's switch, as usual, we will design a map in less than one hour. But before we get started, I will just make a disclaimer before I get asked. I get an Assassin's Creed uh, t-shirt, and there's a, one clear reason for that is that I get paid $10 a minute by Ubisoft to wear this. <laughs> and uh, Malik wears the hood for the same reason. Yeah, so I can blend in the crowd. <laughs> no. <laughs> by the way, I have an anecdote about Malik and Assassin's Creed. Really? Is that Malik was part of Assassin's Creed 1. True. Yeah. And I think that before it was in the project, the character named Malik in the game, the one who only has one arm, yeah, was called was called Rashid. And oh. I think that this character is named after this guy. Hmm. That hmm. Is, he was actually a cool character, so it's pretty cool. Is it the case or not? Yeah, he's cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he got messed up because of Altair was like uh, an asshole in the beginning of the game, and then he loses an arm because of that, and he hates him. But. That's fun. No, uh, Ubisoft does not pay me for the t-shirt. The real reason really? is that uh, uh, I worked for the, on the license for a while and uh, I did not do my laundry for a while. So yeah. I completely ran out of Assassin's Creed less t-shirt. So this is why, this is why, <laughs> <laughs> this is why I have like a full collection of those things and I think I will wear, wear it until I wash my clothes. Hopefully it's tomorrow. Why? I don't know. <laughs> for the sake of the team, you know. <laughs> So our guest tonight is uh, Vanda Cavallero from uh, Minority. El Presidente himself. El Presidente. So uh, he worked on Papua New that was released uh, one year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. He is actually one of the pioneers for the Montreal indie uh, industry. Mm -hmm. And he actually helped us to get started. He just gave us advice on like how to build our project, how to get yeah, funds and absolutely. stuff like that. Early on, he was a great mm -hmm. mentor to get us started on all this. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. He's, he's also our upstairs neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> That's a coincidence, by the way. <laughs> so that makes the it was, yeah. <laughs> it, is a, it is a coincidence, right? Yeah, it is. Really. Yeah. You yeah. kind of just took this building and, hey, mentor is just upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was before that, I think, R&D lead at EA Montreal. Yeah, I and did. Uh, I was running the R&D for developing new concept and intellectual properties for three years. For three years? That was really cool. And One of the best jobs ever. Oh, really? It was cool? Yeah, yeah, you get a lot of money, do whatever you want, and go crazy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> sounds like a dream job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the problem, is, well, the, problem, the problem with that dream job is that you work three years and you see nothing going out into the market. Mm. So then you see, what, I did all this beautiful stuff and no one's gonna see it, no one's gonna play it. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard the phase between like conceiving a new concept and like having it in a full new IP and getting in production. There's kind mm. of inertia between the two. Yeah. This is what you're talking about, right? Yeah. So yep. you got that chance by going indie, working on Papua New, which was <coughs> a really close project to you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the story of Papa Joe, yes. So it, it is that, uh, I don't know, like I've been doing games for almost like 17 years now. And then I always wanted to do games that actually meant something to people. Or like, I don't know, I was really pissed off of doing games that they mean nothing. And so sometimes you go there, you play them after a while, you forget completely about the story, the characters, and there's rare, there, there, it's rare that there are games that you remember the characters and the story and that you're sure link the characters to the story to the mechanics so right now i wanted to do a game that uh, uh connect you emotionally to to those memories and to the experience I mean. yeah but i feel like right now we're a bit of in a production paradigm so what happens often is that there is formula that get established and now it becomes a formula and like it's just reskin of the same concept again and again and then it starts feeling that the passion is not in the project anymore i think this is part of what um, makes the game less meaningful these days Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the special features of uh, Van der Caballero tonight is that, as opposed to every uh, previous creative director we had on this show, this one is a creative director. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, so uh, I'm both like comforted and scary, uh, scary, uh, scared, scared, scared by the, by this idea. So we'll see what he will come with. We. We honestly don't know <laughs> what you will come with. 
<laughs> so, so no matter what, we have one hour to uh, so deliver yes, it. Yes, the, the main okay. feature of this one hour design challenge is that we have one hour. <laughs> Good, <laughs> let's get to the job. Let's get yeah. started. Uh, just, uh, before, uh, before we get started, uh, there will be Steam Key for both Papo and you and uh, for um, Tiny Brains. How many keys will you distribute? Ramel! 16? Yeah. Okay, we will distribute 17 keys of tiny brains and 16 oh, of... I'll be right back, I need to get an extra key. <laughs> <laughs> no, so there will be a key, I think, about uh, the midpoint of the show where uh, we will mm -hmm. send a total of 32 keys and I don't know, I'm not sure we will be clear, so you might not know what game you will win. <laughs> Yeah, it depends if uh, it's Spearhead Games, the user that gives the keys, or Minority Media. Okay, so it might be a hint. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, the two uh, the two uh, guys are there. Uh, okay, so he's called my Minority Media, so it's clear enough. Yeah, pretty. And the other In is the Spearhead Games. Yeah, so. <laughs> it should be clear. <laughs> All right, so Vander. Yeah. We so feel ready. We, I'm ready. This is the challenge. <coughs> so, in games, uh, we tend to avoid topic, touching difficult topics. Yes. Politics, society, we really stay away from that. But right now we're gonna do a topic that is animal cruelty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> animal cruelty. You guys pull it off. It was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> to, a <certain> extent. <laughs> to a certain extent. <coughs> so what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna do a level about emigration and the challenge of emigration. Hmm. That's okay. a challenge that is present in a Canadian society, in Europe, in Japan, and the challenge is this one. Uh, populations are getting old and they need immigrants to sustain all these people getting older. So, so for example, in Canada, last year was the first year there were more people getting out of the job force than getting inside the job force. Okay. So, so, <laughs> these, so these societies need immigrants. But as you know, immigrants get kicked around. They, they're kind of like the lower... Yeah, it's harder because they're not established yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so suddenly the game is about... you. One of the characters is going to be you're gonna get points or like rewards by being kicked out of the map. Every time you kick this guy out of the map and you put him into a corner, you're gonna get like, hey, yes, it was. But slowly, slowly, as you evolve in the, in, the, in the level, this guy's gonna become the most important guy and you need him to move forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. okay. Interesting concept. Okay. All right, so we need a domination relationship where a guy <coughs> can just mess around with the other guy or he so needs to yes. so who's he the needs to mess around with the other guy but so at first there are three guys against one right? okay so yeah. is the what is the timer the getting started around. is it yeah let's start all right in one hour immigration will be like no secret anymore yeah <laughs> metaphorically <laughs> described in tiny brains again <laughs> all about cooperation yeah Metafor <laughs> the metaphoric aspect is important yeah very important in this sentence this, this is the key word yeah so everything so metaphor. is metaphor. Let's take yeah. metaphor. <clears throat> so okay. So um, okay. Kick the guy around. So we can do that many ways, like using pressure plates to try yeah. to kill that character. Yeah. Uh, force pushing a wall on a dude is usually lethal. That's also one thing. Mm. Um, okay. So what I think we could try is the idea. Can, that can, can we create a shatter of values before? A what? A charter of values. Shatter of tiny brain values. What does it mean? It's a cynic joke. <laughs> 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 can play it it doesn't follow <laughs> politics or anything. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll turn laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, the check. Yeah, All right. Maybe we I should. did not understand the pro okay. No, it's okay, okay. You have to explain what the shadow <laughs> ball is to yeah. people. Yeah, so that's uh, for people who don't live in Quebec. It's something that the current <laughs> Quebec government started to uh, propose as an idea where the values of the Quebec population is defined through an official charter, including laicity and a lot of stuff, and it creates a lot of havoc and uh, dissension, which is really cool. Yeah, very interesting topic so these days. Should we create one for tiny brains? It would allow us to define who's not cool in the four-player team. Hmm. So <laughs> what Depends I which can be pushed to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Depends which uh, I mean, which species writes it though. What will happen if the hamster writes it? It's not the same. So as there are rodents and non-rodents in the team. Who's non-rodent? The non-rodent is the rabbit. So rabbit is not a rodent. Okay, is the bat a rodent? Mm. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, it is. I think it is. So no. the rabbit is not a rodent. So he's the different guy among the team. So the rabbit. Okay, so the rabbit okay. should be the immigrant. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Especially, sure. is a bit cooler than the other, so he has two distinctive features. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. So, so the rabbit is the immigrant. He comes in the rodent realm. Yeah. And he and tries to And then he's fit confronted in. to their charter of liberty. Yeah. Uh, values. Yeah. <laughs> Which defines that rodents aren't like. Uh, so, something. what is the charter of values in tiny birds? It yeah. is that. It is that rabbit should be put next to the balls. <laughs> and then force pushed into holes. I like and this. I like this a lot. And the balls need to be carried a lot. So I think we should have a map where you have to carry, to push. Okay, let's mm. say you have a conveyor that you can activate, okay. and it push a ball. But the thing is, the rabbit needs to go with the balls. It's part of the charter. <laughs> okay. So you have a button to just push balls, and the rabbit is just the guy who is next to the ball. Okay. Let's carry on. I yeah. know, I, I don't have an area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, so will, I will understand why I said that when I was... <laughs> okay, so the goal is that at first the three other players have ways <laughs> to kill the rabbit very mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. okay. so that's yeah. the first part of the map. Let's start with that. Okay. okay. So how can okay. they do that in Tiny Brains? They can force push stuff on him the and toss him through holes. They can press precious plates and crush him. So in Tiny Brains there is no friendly fire except... Can you start a soccer map though? Mm, nope. No. But you can indirectly affect the other players. Yeah, with you, by using an uh, animated object that you activate with pressure plate. That's exactly. Or force pushing, for example, a wall on him, it will carry him over a hole. Okay, so why do you need to carry him? What can we build around that? Why do you need to carry the rabbit? Mm. Okay, so can we tie it to an objective? Let's say your goal is to... Push. You're an immigrant officer and you want to throw him outside the country. Okay, you have to. Okay, so your goal yeah. is to take him outside and he tries to stay inside. Okay, so you uh, bring blocks and push him towards <coughs> him to force him to fall in. He's like standing in a place where he can't get out and he just tries to dodge the shit you throw at him. Okay, so we need some form of arena, so a uh, country. <laughs> mm -hmm. A very small country though. <laughs> so. Uh, Andorra? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's Rodentia. Rodentia, so just build Rodentia. And in Rodentia, there's Rodent and there's a rabbit. Yeah, and the rabbit is at first isolated. Let's put him on a... Uh, I'll try to draw. Okay, Vander, let me know what you think about this. So this is Rodentia. Yes. And there's the rabbit here. This is a hole. He's on a bridge and yeah. he's here. And the three others are here in Rodentia. Yeah. And he'd like to go here. Except the guys have various blocks that they bring around and they try to push him towards him. And if they hit him, he'll fall through the hole. Beautiful. So, okay. but if he dies, he respawns there. It's okay. Yeah, and then you can throw him again. Because their goal themselves is to throw as many holes as okay. possible. I, you have, he has a path to cross to reach mm -hmm. So he has a platforming challenge to reach it. So, like, it gives the other ways, to, uh, times yeah. to... Can the rabbit actually survive and actually get to Rodentia. So yeah, it, it looks like Mexico, crossing the border to this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is the border, the, this is the custom, so, I, so okay, platforming yeah, okay. challenge. Okay. Yeah, and the others have blocks that spawn regularly, they place them using their powers, <coughs> and they need to force push them, and fall them behind the guy, except the guy is trying to cross at the same time. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so... so I can uh, do that. I will just write some words for the guy who are watching to understand, this is Rabbit Land. AKA uh, what? And this is Rodentia. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the customs. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. So we are. We don't. We now have. Can we see that or not at all? Uh, sort of. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, So basically, what we will do is that there is on the top rabbit la rabbit land, and the rabbit will start there, and. On the bottom, there's Rodentia, because the rabbit is not a rodent as opposed to the other tiny brains. And the uh, rabbit wants to immigrate to Rodentia, and he needs to cross the customs, which will be a, a platforming <laughs> sequence. And the rodent in Rodentia will try to prevent the rabbit from coming in their <coughs> holy country. Yeah, right. by tossing stuff at him. <laughs> <laughs> by using force push physical <laughs> physics <laughs> objects, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you guys have to promise me that you have to do the next part somewhere, somehow, because then those uh, those uh, custom agents they're mm -hmm. gonna need the rabbit after. Okay, so we need okay. another sequence where the rabbit is needed. The rabbit is gonna save their ass. So some kind of puzzle that can only be so solved by. So maybe the, uh, Rodentia is not plain. Is a thing where 
like being able to pull stuff <laughs> is useful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because the rabbit is the only one who can pull. True. So at first they think it's it's okay to kick it, him kick him out, mm -hmm. but then when the president will come and he will be sleeping. <laughs> I see where you're going there. And then you need the guy who can prevent the guy from the the, the ball from falling. Okay. So the president will arrive midterms, mm -hmm. and now the rabbit is the only one who can yeah. save him. So if you were a super efficient custom agent, now he will, the president will die. Is that the right direction? Give it a try. <laughs> it would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, it goes from there. So. Um, I would make the platforming okay. challenge a bit wider, so at least he has the opportunity to dodge by by jumping sideways when he yeah, gets. Yeah, uh, make make like uh, multi paths basically. Yeah. Yeah, multi path. Yeah. So the idea is that he will have to cross uh, the customs. So this is the customs. Can we see it on screen? Yes. Rio Grande. <laughs> so uh, Skywise says that it's almost not racist. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so it's not racist. Almost a good comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so the reason why there's two paths is because uh, we will be uh, cruel against the rabbit, and uh, we want him at least to have a chance to cross the border. So he will, he will be able to jump sideways to uh, dodge the cru the evil cube of ice. <laughs> we could put some some other stuff as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. We should probably. Yeah. So it makes it more harder for the the poor guy. So <laughs> almost shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so Twitch is going well. <laughs> All right, so, um, okay, but the thing though is what is the use of the mouse? Okay, the mouse is not important. No, he can bring big blocks so that the force push can throw them at the. Uh, yep. So, so it could be through a gate or even simply just make it faster. Oh. Hey, okay, hi everyone. Uh, Nico, say hi. <laughs> so Nico is still is a UB guy. <laughs> so this is what a UB soft chain looks like. Speak, so show your French accent. French accent. <laughs> Hello guys, uh, nice to meet you. I'm from uh, Ubisoft and France, south of France. <laughs> Very special part. <laughs> so right now he showed me a picture of Montpellier where he lives and holy shit, why do you come here? <laughs> <laughs> I, miss the, I miss the snow <laughs> and the cold. Yeah, you're a very lucky bastard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's a university friend uh, living at my home for a week and also in Mission in Montreal, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did I, I say too much already? Or? No, no, it's okay. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So he is in Mission at Ubisoft Montreal. Mm -hmm. So, um... So if we want the rabbit to be essential in the second part of the gameplay, we need to build the level accordingly so that first pull mm -hmm. is the thing that they will need. Yeah, so there's two things that that guy can do is pull horizontally or vertically. He's the only one who, could, who can pull vertically. Yeah, so he could bring the key to them, otherwise they're stuck. Maybe there's like a crushing wall and if he doesn't pull the key, it doesn't stop. So what is the key? We need metaphor there, because yeah. if we don't put metaphor, it would be a battery. <laughs> I can yes. tell so what is a battery in Rodentia? Why yeah. do they need a battery to be put in a sack? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Vander? I was lost. I was watching uh, him doing his, his and magic. Was having yeah. Fun. <laughs> so I wish I, wish I could be doing. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the it's a fun part. Okay, again with the metaphor. Okay. Yeah. So Burin fame. Burini. What is the battery story? So basically we're wondering what's the metaphor about that uh, rabbit is the only one who can put object towards him either horizontally or vertically. Yeah. And uh, horizontally the mouse could, uh, could uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it needs to be vertically. So he's the only one who can bring things up. Yeah. Okay. So what does he need to bring to save Rodentia or help? What is it? It is uh, a power factor, you know. What could it be? Uh, so I don't know it is uh, so here the tax collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so here the so e the governments need money to pay the people who are retiring the old people, mm -hmm. and these guys are just too weak to bring <laughs> objects up. So if the rabbit is bringing objects up, it's like uh, paying taxes. Okay. okay. So 
how could we do that, Mathieu? I think I don't think it, I don't know if it would work, but the idea is that there's many batteries and many sockets, so there's many taxes, okay, and many treasure chests. Okay. And each time you put a battery in, this, in a socket, it brings money to the government. Can it be bacon? <laughs> okay, and there's bacon spawning. Yeah, bacon is money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we all know that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it has been defined in a previous uh, <laughs> Twitch. So there is like okay. So but the thing is. The batteries are not there from the get-go. Should they be there from the get-go? Yeah, they can't reach them anyways. Yeah, it, it, it is a job they don't want to do, for example, like cleaning, or like taking care of kids in daycare. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bringing batteries up and <laughs> placing them in sockets, okay. So what do we have feedback? Make the platforming work against the rabbit a way that is easier and made specifically to ease of the rodents. So mm. it should be easier to kick stuff than to cross. Okay. So uh, how do we do that? We make it slightly downward. <laughs> <laughs> slightly. Yeah. So that stuff keeps keeps kicking in. That's interesting. Yeah. Or we can hmm, place obstacles. Since he can only pull, he can't push the stuff away, and he's kind of stuff stuck. While the others can just push it at him. That's also a way to. Uh, so it should be easier to. So it's a, it's a custom that was purposely designed, to throw stuff at people and for people <laughs> to not cross. Just keep it in mind. Can you put the accelerators on the objects so that they're really brutal? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't following. <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah. We, no, no, we're just no, we're just trying There's to figure. Like we're just trying to figure a way so that, shooting object at the rabbit is super cool. And crossing is super hard. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever leave that? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, leave the side of, I, I leave the side of the crossing. Put it away. <laughs> Not the side of the shooting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we have an artist available? Um, we have... Uh, what are you doing, Kisha? <laughs> oh my god, this looks hard. Okay, Max. It's available, or are you doing the... Okay, can, can, can I see the rabbit? The rabbit, sure, let me try. Oh, mm. can you place him... Uh, He's asking if we have an artist available, so I'm wondering so if you're doing your stuff or oh. uh, serious yeah. stuff. There's no collision. <laughs> this always happened. <laughs> because it is, we have to make the... We have, we have to make the rotation... Uh, Kisha, uh, come here. Uh, the the rodent has to be white. Oh my god. Or like, and then uh, the rodent has to be a bit dark. The rodents are dark and the... No, 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 the... The opposite. The opposite. No, the rodentia, where they want to get their white. Okay, then, let's, uh, see, let's see who is our artist. <laughs> oh, I think, no! I think we have the perfect... It was not planned! <laughs> <laughs> we have a perfect candidate for your point. So <laughs> explain us, Vander, what you want. <laughs> <laughs> explain us what you want exactly. So, Kisha, come on closer. Is she on camera? <coughs> Kisha, you're not... Where are we? Where are we? You're not seeable. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> where Kisha go? so Kisha is an available artist who is dark, <laughs> okay. apparently. <laughs> so, so, so the idea is, we're talking about immigration and how you get uh, uh, some kind of way segregated or judged by your color or you, how you look or how you talk. You seem so then, uh, yes, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> Rodentia, they're white people. Okay. Then uh, so some of the other one has to be white, and then the rabbit has to be darker. <laughs> <laughs> we need a black rabbit. This is what he says. I don't understand black. I no, no, you said to dark. Look, I'm not look. I, I, I'm you, not dark. Did but you actually call me over to make a dark rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> he feels so wrong. <laughs> he asked, "Do you?" Okay. When he asked, "Do you have an available artist?" He did not state the purpose. <laughs> he lived in Rodentia. You see, he lived in Rodentia. So we have a dark artist. What do you want? <laughs> okay. okay. I can make the rabbit dark. <laughs> and and the other rodents lighter. <laughs> and by white, we mean white. The the mouse is not. Hey, but the 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 rabbit used to be brown. Is it what? still in? Yeah, the first version uh, or orange. Or? The first version was brown, and you make it white. You see? We made it green. <laughs> <laughs> For my defense, it was brown and we made it green. 
<laughs> so it's a bit less bad, I think. <laughs> Except if Martian were the ruling. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the ruling Can you species. make it? You want me to make it brown? Like yeah, the rabbit, rabbit brown and the other one white. Uh, the ones white. Yeah, the hamster and the bat should be white as well. Hey, I thought we have the white scientists. The what? The white scientists. <laughs> Are they white, the scientists? They're yellow. Is it yellow? <laughs> no, no, the scientists. The scientists. The scientists' characters. Oh, yeah. These are white males, Christian. Some are female, by the way. Okay. Can you use them? What? Can yes, we can use them. You can, can we, we, we can use, use them, them right? Uh, which one? The, the scientists', scientists characters. Uh, to play yeah. with? Yes. Yeah, can we? It is use it used in troll mode. Can you uh, change it? Okay, start by making the rabbit brown. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll figure out how to make the rest white. Do it just in case. <laughs> and I consider that I, I make no abuse of authority by asking you to... <laughs> I love this so awkward. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not sure what this episode is about. Might become viral. <laughs> viral? Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, Alright, so what did I miss? Max, are you the guy on the laptop in the background? Haha, <laughs> it's not me. It's my equivalent from Minority Media. Yeah, so in the background is Minority. Max, say hi. They want to see you. No, no, they want to see you. We don't see you. Yeah, come closer. So, revenge. Here's your hero. I have a, a Macintosh computer. Yeah. It puts me a, a little bit above. <laughs> Everyone else in the studio. So I, I think that even Max himself is a Mac product, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so can we use the scientists as character, playable character or not? No. No, we can't. Okay. No, we can't. So, uh, well so we, you'll have to put the other rodents white. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Did that do? Well, we cannot use the scientists as main character. So we need. Uh, so we need. You, we need to whiten the other one. <laughs> What a nice process. It will be it will be interesting. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I feel I'm like violating uh, some s boundaries or something. No. This is great. Yeah, that's that's what we need to do in the game industry. We're so politically correct that in our politically correctness we forget to live in the real world and confront real subject and issues that make us uncomfortable. Hmm. And it's our job to change this to make games meaningful and connected to people all around the world who are living these struggles in their everyday life. Tana! <laughs> I thought that wow. games were to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you thought no, wrong, buddy. No, it, look, it, it's a, so, 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 it, so, see this one. It is American comedies. So American comedies, they treat really difficult subjects. And then, uh, for example, 40-year-old Berlin. Being a 40-year-old Berlin is like really, like, it's really sad. Imagine this guy who denied himself the pleasure of sex for all his life because he has some really hurt wounds inside of him. And so, but then, through comedy, they make this guy go through this difficult pain and then they, he come out of, of that. So suddenly, the American comedies use fun as a way to bring you to the difficult things you know, and bring you to, to the end. What happens is that in video games, we use fun only as an end, not as a tool to make us live Mm -hmm. Go through different stories, and suddenly, when you change that and you say, oh, "Fun is a tool to make us go to these tool? difficult stories," and at the end we bring a moral out, then you bring the game means to a different level. I think that somehow we we connect in the sense that what we really tried to do with Tiny Brains is we did not actually had a message to convey, mm -hmm. but what we wanted to happen is for people to come closer together. We kind of play tested in a way and made sure that people would have to speak together, they would bond together, they would just live an experience together. So it's not really like a message that we had. It is. But still we had this purpose of just bringing like <coughs> people like having an experience and a thrill that they share, so. Yeah, it's kind of uh, social, uh, it, you kind of learn about teamwork and uh, <coughs> all that indirectly. But for example, oh, okay, let, let's say that you have um, people coming from different backgrounds and so on, they all have different cultural, <coughs> boundaries and so you put them together and you make them have fun you're already creating a bridge between them so at the end it is you, your goal is bringing something uh, your goal is bringing them there together so it's good it is 
you did yeah. it in a way. So we have a deeper yeah. meaning, though. Yeah. Then. But it's true. Remember at PAX when like a group of four players who never knew each other start to try the game. And at first they're like super shy and like, ah, oh, what's going on? And then as they play the game, they start laughing together and high fiving when they solve the challenges. Yeah, actually, this was one of the the one thing that we liked the most watching people playing is this these four people that did not know each other, but. In Tiny Brains, you, it is truly a cooperative game and you cannot solve the challenge if mm -hmm. you don't speak together. This is the way we designed it and we play tested to make sure that it is not possible. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I just remembered this journalist. You remember this journalist that came... Okay, so I, I will finish my sentence. So, <laughs> so we, made, we, made, we made sure that it is not... It, it, is, it, is not <laughs> it is not doable without speaking to each other and sometimes there were a group of people not knowing each other and they would be shy and we were just waiting for this moment that there would be some like the ice broke is that an expression in english breaking so, the ice I yeah think breaking so, the yeah. ice yeah, and, 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 and then uh, toward the end like you said they would high five but i just remember yeah. like this was this one journalist from music plus uh, and like yeah who uh, that was hilarious yeah. and she, we had like a five minute time window and we wanted to show her how awesome is tiny brain and we had five minutes to prove her that our game is awesome and then the guys who came with her were non-english speaking and non-french speaking japanese yeah. So and uh, we w and it is actually not doable if you don't speak together. And we had the proof in front of a journalist that so we're so see imagine if you could speak with those guys how fun how much fun you could <laughs> have. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, she was a great person and uh, she was very patient. We actually got her other people that spoke either French or English so she could follow up because uh, yeah the. Language barrier was an actual barrier there. Yeah. Something to learn about that too, actually. But uh, <laughs> can I get a glass of wine now? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're ready sure. for that. <laughs> I know. Hey, dude, coffee. It's coffee. Yeah, it's officially. It's yeah, it's can I get a glass of coffee? Red coffee, please. Red coffee, sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I have red coffee? Please? Yeah, me too. I really like some red coffee. Yeah, we we mean wine, yes. <laughs> red coffee from France. <laughs> yeah, preferably. Italy is fine too. Or so Spain what what, is, what are these ideas? What are this uh, topic about Finland and Denmark? I am uh, too lazy to read. People seem to want uh, some assets that would be uh, Nordic. Okay, they want Nordic asset. Can you ask? <laughs> can you add an ask and a uh, spike on that to the <laughs> to the road? Been requested that uh, Matthew speaks a bit more about what he's doing. Okay. So Matthew. <coughs> All right. So. So. Uh, I didn't do much for now. I just put some platforms that will move, uh, as you can see, like that. It's basically just an animation, and I created two blocks uh, based on physics, so you can force put <laughs> them. <laughs> on so the poor uh, rabbit. Can you yeah. make them that so when they get, they get to the other side, they come back, so we can throw it again? Um, yeah, they should respawn infinitely. That's true. Wow, well, okay. I like your debug texts. Yeah, debug text is not my. my oh, <laughs> come on! Give Australian wine a shout out. It's true, there's some pretty good Australian wine. I'm sure it exists. I heard it exists at least. It does. <laughs> and I'm sure you actually drank some and you liked it. Honestly, I do like Australian wine. You know why? It is a theory. I'm, I don't know anything. I don't know shit about wine. Mm -hmm. But the thing I know is that uh, the ones that are famous for wine are not Australian. <laughs> <This is so, laughs> so, my theory about Australian wine is that mm -hmm. I think that for the equal quality, they have to be <laughs> less expensive because they are not French wine. Or uh, Italian one. I heard that they have different methods that the French don't necessarily approve of, but it does get some great wine though. So yeah, I heard they can't necessarily use the same names. I don't know that much about. No, wine, I think like that uh, what culture. is illegal in France is to uh, mix the wine with uh, pieces of wood mm -hmm. to give it like the barrel taste. Mm -hmm. But it's not illegal Austra in Australia. So if they want like <laughs> an Australian <laughs> wine to taste like wood, they would just put wood yeah. in it. Hence, you can get a much cheaper wine that actually tastes as much as like a great French wine, basically. So this is our Australian wine shout, wine shout out. Yeah. I think I hope it does the trick. Yeah. Mr. Burry Fing, Burry, this name. <laughs> what is it? Burry Fing. Burry. 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 Burry Fing. Niflheim. That's uh, Scandinavian mythology or something. So uh, can you bring the Australian wine? <laughs> You have technical difficulties. Use your teeth. <laughs> the red, the red coffee is a little hard to open. <laughs> 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 the red coffee is a bit hard to open. Stop <laughs> 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 feeling the. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, our red coffee comes in bottles somehow. It's a Montreal specialty, I guess. Hope not many Montrealers watching. So, Mathieu, okay. not to stress you, but it's already been 27 minutes. Okay. Really? Yep. Yes. So okay, I was kind of relaxed today. No, no, no. Uh, you we need to go to the second gear. Yeah, Frank okay, is so, Okay, so, so uh, this part is pretty much done. <coughs> so, what's next? So, so what's next is, uh, I want to test the, the customs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, is just, the rabbit just spawning just on the other side? And is he white? No, no is he black? The first one. What? Moderate coffee drinker. We can't spawn somebody elsewhere. Okay, cool. That's a feature. Thank you very much. Each time. Okay, so how do we make it? Uh, Teleport on spawn? No, no we can't. Okay. Teleport on trigger. We can't. Oh no, I know what we, we do. We all climb. On a player. We all yeah. climb on the block, but the rabbit, and we all cross, but the rabbit. Uh, or just the rabbit. Okay, no, I know the scenario. The we start with the rabbit. We just manage to cross the border, and we kick him back to his. <laughs> <laughs> so we need like the we need to be able to kick back the rabbit in his place without him falling off the edge. So, yes, so I'm I'm the rabbit. So. So oh just climb on the block. Where am I? Okay, so where yeah, so where are you? I don't know. Okay, but one advantage block. Let's start. <coughs> okay, so the rabbit go on the other side. Where are you? Ah, I dodged. You won't get me. No, no, you should get yourself. Am I there? Please mute. Put a block, uh, blue guy. So I'll just. Uh, so you're not there. <laughs> Put push the block. I'm curious to see. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, I've been expelled from the Rodentia. I'm not there. <laughs> give me a minute. <coughs> I'm just. Okay. So we need to put, a, put just put a conveyor that makes it super easy to go out. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, yeah, a conveyor that goes back. Uh, that that goes backward. So we have. Well. So <laughs> put a conveyor that goes backward. That makes yeah. it super okay, easy. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. We have that somewhere, I think. And also, um, that I think that the camera was a bit uh, restrictive, so I would. Uh, so I, I had trouble getting behind the blocks. Hmm. What is going on? Uh, a conveyor. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> May have been from a previous Twitch. <laughs> Do you put all the maps of Twitch in the same level? Mm -hmm. Maybe. It's okay. <laughs> that is bound to crash eventually. <laughs> but I guess it's useful to take shortcuts like this. All right, let's see what it looks like. Hmm. Just the materials. I want to know what I'm getting old. <laughs> the rabbit is revealing. So, let me see those Vikings. <coughs> so, how it feels to be in the after a year and a half? I was about to ask you the same question, actually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, actually, it's been very interesting to uh, go from those big triple A's to the small team and working together. And uh, it's very different, basically, this level of flexibility and uh, autonomy, basically. So, but you've been there longer, actually. You've been ahead. Basically, when I started at EA, you were leaving EA to start Minority, basically. Yeah. So, uh, how was that evolution for you? I never want to go back. <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <coughs> interesting. Yeah. So, uh, for example, just yeah. the fact of. Uh, okay. Of, uh, okay. So back to the level, or yeah. we keep talking. What do we do after the? Um, oh, I well, after we'll this part? talking. I've what? just been informed that the Steam key have arrived. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, if you want a tiny brain steam key plus two free chicks, 
No, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, un okay un what? What? Chicken? Un uh, yeah. Chickens. Yeah, there's chickens. chicks. Okay, chicks and the tiny brains. So, yeah, chicks are the evil uh, enemies in the tiny brains, actually, it's true. Uh, baby yeah. chickens. Baby chickens. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, if you are. Um, if you like us on Facebook now, <laughs> you will win uh, a Steam key, right? Yeah. And the chicks, no? Yeah, I'll try to see what I can do. Also, you can, for free, follow us using the, what does it look like, the follow shape button. It's uh, like uh, the button shape in someone follow in. Okay. Like, there's a follow button, I don't, I don't remember what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably written follow on it or something like okay, that. So it might be written follow. If you press that, it's awesome. But you don't win it, Steam key. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, just like uh, so, it, where is the where is the copy? No. Spearhead. Spearhead Facebook page written. It's going to be written on the screen. Yeah. It's going to be written on screen now. Yeah. Here <laughs> or, or there or I'm not sure where. <laughs> Somewhere eventually. So uh, what what's the timer right now at where are we at? Uh, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Okay. So yeah, we need to uh, make this racist game uh, on. <laughs> it's not racist. It's uh, <laughs> okay. You know that we're about to push a brown rabbit <laughs> that, <laughs> with <laughs> white rodents. I'm just saying that. And you also asked the one employee. <laughs> he, okay, I did not know what he was asked for. He, he asked me, "Do you have an artist available?" So. First of all, he did not mention do you have a non-brown artist available. <laughs> Also Which we, are, we also did have a non brown artist available. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I love so the awkwardness of this. <laughs> it is Keep totally going. awkward. So, rabbit, go in your country. Okay. Where's the rabbit? Wh and the and our gum is not. Okay, so rabbit I'm is okay, it's me. Okay, I, oh, rabbit shit. is number okay, four. Okay, shit, I will live the. Oh my god, it's me. <gasps> okay. Oh, come, come on. Come on. Come yes. On. Good, it's good you leave it somewhere oh. else. Oh yeah. my god, I just. Okay. <laughs> he, he failed at crossing the border by himself. Where am I? Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I don't think the rabbit oh, no. needs help. I, to I don't stuff. qualify as a va valid rabbit. Okay, so I'll go back there. So this is the rabbit. <laughs> hey, right, what? Give me uh, a second. What? What? I just want to put collision. So. <laughs> okay, but uh, honestly, I already had an emotion though. Just being the rabbit and knowing that your gameplay was to shoot at me, I did have something, even though you did not shoot at me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, in anticipation. Yeah. I sent you an email with a package. Awesome. Sent a package by oh, so where's the coffee, by the way? The what happened? Yeah, what happened with the, 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 the coffee? Yeah. I got some coffee. You got some coffee. Did you fail? No, no. You succeeded. Okay, but and how come uh, I have no extra red coffee? Because you didn't ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do we need to ask for it? So. Okay, it's so the fuel of our creativity. Uh, Everyone knows so, that. So uh, what Mathieu is doing I right now is the, he, he, he is adding the. Okay, go. He is adding what will make this game really racist. Uh, no, it's not racist. It's. Oh shit! How can I? Okay, okay. 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 I am this I rabbit that is for now green the, here. The right trigger. Wh and I need you? to cross. Oh, <laughs> the custom. I want to get to Rodentia. Please <laughs> let me. That's actually fun. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, 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 oh my god! Go back to okay, you country. made a combo! <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my my god. Go back to your country, that's <laughs> good. That's good. I just feel the, there's still a gap. Oh, but this <laughs> respawn. All right, let's throw him away. There's still a yeah. gap. There's okay. So let me get to Rodentia. I have papers. They're valid. <laughs> <laughs> At least in my country, they're valid. I'll, I'll and build also, a wall to prevent you. I from like passing. your cigarette. I like your president. <laughs> I like your army. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think the first part is pretty good. All right. Okay, so. so. How come I was the rabbit? What, again, what's though? the next part? We have 25. The next yes. part is that uh, after a certain while. They need to bring the taxes to the tax collector to get the bacon. Yeah, so basically it's batteries you need to bring into a socket. Oh yeah, okay, the batteries, okay. the thing is they're lower so they can't reach them. They need the pull to bring them up okay. and then they place them. So we them. need to extend Rodentia a bit, I think. Probably, yeah. yeah okay. Rodentia was a bit like uh, okay, rabbit land that. is bigger than Rodentia, so that's kind of weird. So how does it go with the, with the assets? 
Oh yeah, the assets. Okay. Yeah. So uh, maybe we should first convert the characters into. Uh, so in case the, that the metaphor of rodent versus non-rodent is not clear enough, mm -hmm. we will turn it into a dark non-rodent <laughs> versus white rodent. <laughs> May I clarify things for the <laughs> ones who don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, Bender, let's keep talking a bit. So, uh, the good. So, we were talking All right, about so I'm doing good according to uh, the guys from Spirit. The, the <laughs> 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 so, we were talking about the, the thrill of being indie. Was it yeah. what you thought it would be when you said, okay, let's go, I'm going to start my own studio, do my no. stuff? No, it wasn't what I thought it would be, but it turned out to be better. Better? Yeah. Okay, interesting. What do you mean? <coughs> I think that uh, I know it like it's completely different when you do something that you actually help people. Like when, when we finish Papo and then when we get letters from people thanking them for for helping them live better lives or just like to talk about uh, the suffering they live with their with, with their abusive father or stuff like that. It's like that stuff is like <coughs> it's so powerful that I could die now and be happy. But the only thing I wouldn't be happy is because I have my kids and want to be with them. But I think that I have accomplished my goal in life, so I would have never done that inside a company. Like it is, which company, like which AAA company, would you go and you be proud of the result of or the impact you have on society right now? Maybe Max is a bit, but other than that, it's it's pretty hard. I, I don't know. It is, as much as I love uh, Assassin's Creed, it's, it's cool, but at the same time, it, there's a there's a lot of values there that. So how do you think that uh, the future of the game industry will shape up? Like, what do you think is the future of the uh, industry? Because there are so many things changing right <coughs> now. So I think that indie is already a new movement that you kind of speaking about, where you can take, uh, you can create based on <coughs> business decision. This is what indie means, I think, to a certain extent. But like, there's many other things that are happening, like free-to-play, mobile, and I think it seems like console games are going down a bit. So what do you think is happening now? What do you think? How do you see the industry in the future? I think that uh, at the end, uh, content is the king. Yeah, so only at the end, it's like the good content will always survive. And then that right now we're going <coughs> to this period that uh, there's this flood of content, and yes, it makes it really difficult for, for, for people to be noticed. Despite of that, if you're gonna see the values of that content that is happening, it's gonna be stuff that we never experienced before. For example, uh, right now, if you can go, you can go to the iOS and and explore so many different point of view, so many di different things that uh, that that was not what uh, we grow growing in, in console. And w when I grew up, it was Mario, Zelda, and it was one-sided point of view, and and and. and and then after it was, uh, then uh, we got the variation when the period, then the amount of titles start growing and growing and growing. But in the past, I remember when I was in, in full console, AAA, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, then it was a lot of violence in it. There was a lot of uh, girls with big boobs and he, and it was really adolescent. And, the, uh, and this, uh, it, like the industry got stagnant there for, for many, many years. And right now we're getting that out of that, and then what happening is that many things are collapsing, and right now we're reinventing, and many will die, and many will survive, and new ones will come, and it's it, it just good what is yeah. happening. You find it hard to adapt, as uh, we've been talking. <coughs> Basically, the industry is always changing. Like when you started Minority, mobile was barely starting, free to play was a thing far in the uh, Orient and stuff, and then suddenly it became that big thing. And uh, what do you think about that as indies to be able to survive basically this like strange world? It's always changing, basically. It is really, really, really hard. <coughs> and it's becoming even harder. I think that what's happening right now is that <coughs> I heard that Apple received 130,000 app submission a month. 130,000? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So can you imagine wow. more, more than 70 or 60% of wow, that is crazy. games? Wow. It is a month. Yeah. Oh my god. It is crazy the amount of content that, 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 that they're receiving. Mm -hmm. So then what happened is just flood the content with a lot of 
things that are not good quality, some good quality. So what happens is it becomes really difficult to differentiate and actually create a business model that you can actually create quality and sustain it. Mm -hmm. And that is the challenge that we have to overcome. And, 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 and the ones who figure it out will, will really be able to create the amazing stuff. Yeah, what is happening right now is that it's, so part of the reason why there's some form of revolution happening right now is that it's bec becoming easier and easier to create games mm -hmm. and to distribute games. Yeah. So this is amazing because it allows anyone to kind of express and to kind of create and to share and to just um, somehow build a video game company or, an, or, or, their, or their own project. Mm -hmm. But it's true that on the other hand, what, it, what happened as well is that since anyone can do it and anyone can do it now, Mm -hmm. But it makes that there is also a lot of like average content. Yeah, the the, the channels oh. are flooded basically. So getting attention, having, however hard you work on a game, it might be great, and there's a chance that it's not seen eventually. So that's that's becoming a growing challenge. At the same time, it's great that a lot of people build game because it somehow has the potential of growing the industry and bringing new ideas to the table. So. Yeah, I think that uh, all this uh, social uh, like and, uh, video game explosion <coughs> is quite new and we just don't know how to manage all this. Mm, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the, the way that I see it, it is that it's pretty simple. Like, uh, a friend of mine told me that we're in the business of creating traffic stoppers. Mm -hmm. So what that means is like when you wake up and then you go, when you wake up, you go to work, you go back home, there are around like 4,000 publicity messages. Mm -hmm. chat to you and then uh, during that day maybe one or two or three may stick at you and then when that happened you might look at them and say what is that what the what, what how did it touch me and then our goal is no different than touching people and making and making uh, this uh, mm -hmm. being to the service of society so suddenly let's say that you create another call of duty what service are you giving? Are you making the society a better place? Are you? Are, you're not going to be rewarded by that. You're going to be rewarded by making this a better place. And for example, a good example is the guy from Minecraft. Minecraft, this guy, he created this space that is a space that was fully about creation and exploration, and and and, and that was something that we didn't have in, this, in the virtual world. Even, even like it was, we had that outside with Lego, but suddenly this guy put into the virtual world and. 24 million of copies sold. He feel a void in society. So suddenly, if you're able to feel voids in society, and you actually your content is actually helping someone, you'll be recognized by it. Mm -hmm. Some cases will work, some cases will not. But at the basis, it's really it, it, if you, if you make a copy of something that already exists, mm -hmm. then uh, this this is an opinion I have myself too. I feel like there is so many people who think that. Um, the video game industry has some level of maturity now and that uh, like the, the genre are established and stuff like that but it's not the case at all in my opinion the video game uh, medium is so young it has 30 years old now yeah so imagine like when the writing like the medium of writing at 30 you w we were painting on the wall this is where we are right now for the video game industry mm -hmm. the new game <coughs> industry is a baby we have no freaking clue what it will become and it is it is definitely not established and it is definitely not to a maturity state. So I think that right now it's a young medium full of promise. And when you try to uh, copy something that already exists, you're really not helping this uh, industry to fulfill what it, it's meant to do. <coughs> For example, on, on Papua Joe, it was really, it, it was great that people didn't know where to put the game. They didn't know how to classify it. it was, some people said, but the game is like, it's really easy and you go like, it's not about challenge. No. Papoyo is not about challenge. It's not about dexterity challenge. Papoyo is about emotional challenge. Be challenged emotionally. No one knew because there's no drama category existing. Mm -hmm. There's like a shooting, the first person shooters, driver games, sport games, uh, action games, but there's no drama space. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's really funny because there's no drama space. And suddenly, slowly, slowly. <coughs> The drama page is forging, so we did like Papers, Please, Papoyo, Cancer Dragon are talking uh, areas that it was not touched before. So suddenly, imagine, imagine the movie industry without the drama category. So suddenly our goal is to create, uh, our goal in minority, we want to push that drama category. And, 
and make things that are actually emotionally engaging and dramatic. Mm -hmm. So what is your next project? Can you announce it yet? Or? Yeah, we're working in two. <coughs> we have Silent, Silent Enemy that uh, some of you may have heard. Silent Enemy is about uh, Chihuatin, uh, an Aboriginal boy from Northern Quebec who has to bring a springtime to the permanent winter. And uh, Pernambic Winter is, uh, they're the cross who live in Pernambic Winter who are bullying everyone in, because in winter uh, it's really hard to live. So suddenly the, the cross beneficiates from, from the winter. So he had to bring back spring, in springtime. So it is a, it's a journey of how overcoming a bullying. And uh, a great inspiration was all what happened in the last years with the uh, online bullying and see, for example, them. Uh, Amanda Todd and see you, if you guys have seen amazing beautiful video of her telling her story with her with her white cars trying to connect with people and then she committed to decide so <coughs> our goal is to go there and touch really hard topics and and actually overcoming bullying and not with violence it is so we're doing a game that you know overcome bullying not by being aggressive to them so it is, uh, and right now we're testing, and, and I think we have got to a point that is really interesting at how to overcome it, overcome something not through violence. Okay, so you have uh, you have so you have found gameplay around this uh, idea of non-violent. Uh, yeah, that that brings me to something. How do you create, in terms of creative like methodology or something, these kind of games that actually have a meaning, have like. A, a message <coughs> and at the same time are interactive and are actually games. Do you start with like, I want to bring this message and then figure out how to turn that into a game? I start with, uh, I want people to feel the experience. So you start with, okay, take something in your life. I want people, take something in your life <coughs> that you want people to learn, mm -hmm. but it is, you have to take experience that you have learned something and you want to share it. Mm -hmm. And you take that experience and you decompose it. Into different into 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 different buckets, and then uh, what happened in uh, what happened through that experience? It, it, it is that uh, you have to identify all the elements that compose that that experience. For example, in Papoyo, it it was it took me a, a long time to figure out the the core mechanic. It was <coughs> so in, in Papoyo, it was about my my abusive father, and it was when he was drinking, he was going crazy. And then uh, say, okay, how can I make people feel that? And then uh, I work it out, work it out, and I say, okay, what about the frog? And when the monster, <coughs> become, uh, when the most monster is your friend, and when he beats a frog, he goes crazy and he starts attacking you. And then I prototype that mechanic, and we're like, oh my god, it was, it was, it was really amazing. I felt it, mm -hmm. and then uh, I felt it and say, wow, this is this is basic, this is basic for the game because suddenly it is, there are so many things that haven't been. <coughs> that haven't been discovered yet in, in games, for example, like uh, in Silent Enemy, <coughs> an example of the of the of the being bullied. So suddenly, we were thinking a, a, a lot of time, bully someone based on systemic design. For example, you work really hard to get something, and then they take it away from you, and you have to do it again. That, that, that's taking away resources by it. But when you see it from that point of view, that's something that got taught to us from. Mario, since the beginning, and, and, and there's many other ways to affront that problem. For example, one way that we figure out it is if you analyze the problem of being bullied, it comes by having a trait that makes you different from the others. Maybe you have big ears, maybe you have freckles, maybe you have red hair, and then uh, when you have that characteristic, then the bullies around take you and say, ah, <laughs> you have red hair, you have red hair, and they bully you out. And then I start to oh wow, that, 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 that's how you, get, how you feel bullied. And then so we create, we create the character and the commotion of the character and what happened is that we, today, we create character locomotion that is perfect. We create professional athletes. Mario is a professional athlete. He can do everything. If he, if he jumps through the hole, if not, Mario, it's your, your fault because you're a dumb player. But Mario is perfect. Mm -hmm. And then you go to Assassin's Creed or to this guy yeah. from Uncharted. <laughs> he's perfect. He's a perfect athlete. Mm -hmm. And then what, perfect I think this is, this <laughs> then what happened is like we figure out we have this perfect athlete and say like no no what, what about if he's just sloppy 
What about if you're controlling a sloppy character that he falls and then he's not good running with snowshoes and he falls and then we're like, wait, what? Wait, no one have done that before. You have never controlled a sloppy character because it's not mm -hmm. good for for yeah. the. Often it's about a power fantasy, like most games yeah. is about being the hero, the <coughs> like the champion, and it's true that it limits it's what you can but communicate yeah, but I guess I'm something because you actually like. Mm -hmm. Are ah, that parce que risque de force, il y a un de la peine de bien ce qu'ils ont besoin. Yes, so then. Uh, uh, ouais, je pense pas pas peut-être des. Having the sloppy character mechanic is really really powerful. We have it in this left. So I think yeah. we need to close this project. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm not sure that right now we will uh, have the the brown rabbit. Uh, no. <laughs> will we have the brown rabbit? I, I plugged the materials, but you know. It didn't work. Not really. Okay. Oh no! So you'll have to accept that uh, it's rodent versus non-rodent. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why it does not work? Yeah, or? <laughs> no, I just changed the materials on the mesh that are used in the game. So. Okay. So the guys are trying to solve that technical issue. We need it. So need right it. now, <laughs> it is created Right wants now, this. we're really trying hard to make the rabbit brown and the non-rabbit non-brown. We need that screenshot. <laughs> screenshot? Okay, no problem. We'll make you a screenshot and we'll Photoshop it to exactly what you no, want. No, no, I like... <laughs> I mean, is this episode brought to us by Dramamine? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, because I love Dramamine. Uh, <laughs> we, we are trying to figure out how to make the game uh, more about brown and not brown. So, but driving was pretty cool, I think. So, which one? Uh, <laughs> you have to watch the previous. Way. Yeah, in the previous episode, <laughs> we had the carousel that uh, runs faster and faster, and at one point there was an advertisement for. Um, Dramamine? What is it? It's, a it's a an anti-puking medicine, <laughs> something like that. So, <laughs> so it was one of the key features of the last episode. There was Dramamine advertisements. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> well, this one is sponsored by Border Patrol or something like that. Yeah, by the US Custom. Is it US? No, it's Rodentia Custom. Rodentia Custom, yeah. 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 <laughs> This is a metaphor, remember? Right. Yeah, it is. A, yeah, 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 by US, I meant United <coughs> Squirrels. Yes, yes, okay, that works. Are squirrels rodents? So, yes, yes okay. So I think they are, they're like rats, right? Yeah, I think that, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, are we going to play? Yeah, can we play? Okay, so uh, am I still, uh, I'm again the, <laughs> the raised. Okay, but how the pick of the cube? Okay. So, so who so are you? Uh, I'm number three. Okay, number okay. three cannot push that much. What can he do to, to make it? He okay. can place the blocks. Give him the, the, give him yeah. the, the, the pusher so he can make me suffer. Okay, here, let's swap. You're the pusher, so your okay. goal is to push the blocks towards him. How do I do it? Just press the right trigger, basically. So I, oh, so yes. So try to I will make him. it. You can uh, aim with the left stick also. Let's go up. So right. it's me. Oh, 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 oh my god, back, oh, to, survived. back to Rabbit Land. Oh no, I'm still in the custom. Hey, can I come to your nice country, guys? No. I like you. Blocks. Here, I'll bring you more blocks. I like you guys. I want to we learn don't. your language. You're not the I same as I want to pay for your retirement of your mother. Okay, so I <laughs> want to eat. I want to eat some stuff other than oh, salad. No, he's getting in. No. Oh yes, I'm in. Oh. So what do, what do uh, I do when I'm in? When you're in, you pay taxes. Okay. So how do I pay taxes? You bring, bring the batteries. Here. These are tax packets. Okay, so I want to help you pay taxes by putting. Wow. Okay. okay. It except that doesn't work. Except that doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> okay, so the taxes right. are here, but the system doesn't accept these Okay, so taxes. you have four minutes to make the tax work. Yeah. We I want the tax to produce bacon. Yeah, which is a metaphor for money. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, that was really cool. <laughs> so did uh, you like to shoot at me? Uh, yes. You know that <laughs> <laughs> the first time I've ever some uh, ever saw Vander. He was saying that he knows how to shoot a rabbit while it's moving. Yeah, I remember that we were there. It yeah. Was, uh, so ago. you knew how to do that. I saw you shoot it across. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I got it right. In my <laughs> so. so <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you know that we were there? It was in no. the IGDA boot camp. 
And we were doing our speech as well. Yeah, it was a concept where everyone had like five minutes or something. Wait, 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 what it was? I re let me see if I remember. You were talking about. I remember what my talk about. What about yours? <laughs> Ours was. Uh, we were. Our subject was. Yeah, how do we make narrative a gameplay? Yes, gameplay narrative. And yeah. I was a robot. I was playing a robot in the IGD talk. Yeah. And I. I had like choice of answer and you were kind of the player and I, you were, oh, you were playing me. This is what yeah, you were doing. Exactly. You were representing the game and I was the player and you were like showcasing what could be narrative. Oh, gameplay. bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. All right. So I will be All the right, rabbit three again. Three minutes left. So. Uh, All right. So uh, what, what would be the appropriate song to, uh, to, for this playthrough? Mm. Philip, do you have an opinion? Uh, what? DJ not. Phil. Something I know the tiger. <laughs> Something not really. Tent, 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 tent. Okay, uh, let, let me. Uh, I, guess I would have put the. Um, no. So. Never mind. Come on, rabbit. <laughs> so I need to present you. Uh, what's the name of this game? You pick it up. Borderland. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> taken. Okay. We, we might have a lawsuit in our So, hands border here, platforming? It's. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, tiny border. Okay, tiny. tiny border. Tiny borders? Border jump. Border jump. Border jump. Okay, border jump. Border so, the cubes? Why don't they respawn? Uh, border jump music, is it ready? Yeah. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce border jump. I will just get to, uh, r to rabbit land before it starts. Um, Let's start joining first time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. So, I am, I am a rabbit. And uh, I come from rabbit land, like most of the rabbits. <laughs> and all I want to do is that, like, kind of join. <laughs> I want to join this nice country of United Squirrel. It's Rodentia. 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 This is what I meant. <laughs> oh wait, and he's getting that, closer. I cross. Don't let him. And now the. No, we lost him. He's to steal our job. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's getting closer. Push him. Should <laughs> get him. No. Push. So, all right. He is not white. Oh, wait, wait, he's white. <laughs> oh, push him away. Get him. All right, let me try something. Go what away. are you doing? Go away. <laughs> Oops. Okay, too, Lord, too close. Okay. Ah, oh, he got him. Now bring so, the bacon. Hey, guys. I'm very proud to now be a citizen of, uh, of the United Squirrels. And now, what I can do that you cannot is I can just <laughs> stun. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> so Ooh, I know <laughs> I know that you did not want me in, but now <laughs> I generate so much bacon <laughs> that I can't pay for your retirement. <laughs> oh my God, this game is a masterpiece! <laughs> Good job, man! <laughs> oh my God! So okay. I was what you had in mind. It works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's an early prototype, but honestly, <laughs> having this experience of having to cross while the other guys have this objective of killing me, it was interesting somehow. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of striking something. <laughs> so, well, good job. Basically, you made this player actually feel <laughs> what you wanted. I'm not, I'm not sure that we went as far as we could, but like just like being this guy and imagining that I have to cross this gap and you are trying to prevent me from doing that. My best it was moment was the awkwardness of asking <laughs> to make a dark character. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, you asked a dark character to make dark character. This is what you did. I did not ask. <laughs> I said, can we make the character dark? You told me, you told me, <laughs> do you have an available artist and you did not mention a species. <laughs> You did not mention the color? Can I? What can I say? You did oh not the, the, the most unpolitically incorrect Twitch I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, thank you very much, guys. <laughs> so thank you for coming. <laughs> oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> so, um. Yeah. What do we do? Do we play the other, uh, the next? Uh, yeah, sure. So, so uh, uh, we have uh, an expansion of Tiny Brains coming uh, very soon. I think it's oh, coming yeah. yesterday. Yeah. In <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, no. It's coming very soon. It's though. coming. It's coming. 
It's in the process of being approved on consoles and stuff like that, uh, but it's completed. And it's also gonna come with a pretty cool uh, price drop on the game. It's like, it's gonna be the most awesome thing ever. So, Vander, you wanna play with us? With so, I'll kill him for the play. So, we will which, play it where we are all of the same team. So, basically, we are all rodents because when we <laughs> make this game, we did not know that rabbits were not rodents. <laughs> Where am I? You're at the bottom. Yeah, to get we kind of didn't good. wait for you. <laughs> yeah, you got here too good. So in this level, you have to bring the ball up with you as fast as possible. <laughs> you keep, you keep suiciding. No, don't let it fall. So you need me now, huh? Mister, I don't want to let you cross. <laughs> it's not the same game anymore. Checkpoint. <laughs> So uh, in this new expansion of Tiny Brains, there's plenty of new levels. Uh, this is one of them, uh, like new type of gameplay. Uh, I think that this one layout was nice inspired cool. from uh, Space Invader. Right now, you can see the Space Invader influence, like the the back the, the the grounds is uh, Space Invader shaped. Oh, nice teleport. Oh yeah. So this is fully so co-op, obviously, uh, there's no more trying to kill your teammates because you actually <laughs> need them. I think there's 12 <laughs> new levels yep. that, uh, that will be added for free. So they are added for free whether you already have the game or if you buy it now as well. Yeah, <laughs> or later <laughs> or anytime. Or, <laughs> or the guys who got the Steam keys today, basically you'll get the update for free. Uh, no! <laughs> Oh, oh, we almost <laughs> right, made it. <laughs> right okay. close to the start. Wow, <laughs> to what a disappointing uh, <laughs> So, uh, nice. So, let's just. Uh, All right, let's focus. We can do it. Let's not fail at the last stretch <laughs> again. Oh, poor. Oh <laughs> my God. Okay, that was tight. <laughs> uh, that was not tight. Yeah, you were totally planning that. You're gonna tell me. Oh my All right. God. Okay. okay we're same doing spot. Doing not, that's not fair. All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> Finish it. There we Did go. It. Yeah. So <laughs> we have uh, one score. One star. <laughs> one star score. <laughs> I guess failing at the end didn't help our score. But yeah, the the new mode actually has a whole uh, meta game with like improvements such as like stars that you can earn that will unlock new levels, unlock other cool stuff. So. It's basically a whole new mode of gameplay that you'll get for free, whether you have the game or if you get it soon, it will be there as well. It also ties into Border Jump because it shows that at the end, eventually, they will <laughs> work together as a team, Rodance and no Rodance, and it just makes yeah. them become better. It's okay. a different message, but yeah, close. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you next week. Thank next you. week, Bye. next Bye. week we'll have Jeffrey O'Hallam. From uh, Assassin's Creed, we were actually uh, the and core. And Child of Light now. And Child of Light now. And Far Cry 3. And Far Cry 3 and uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and yeah. Revolution. He's an awesome writer, great guy, so it's gonna be very interesting to have him on the show. And he used to be a game designer. We, he was a game designer in he Assassin's Creed. He was, he designed on Assassin's also. Creed 2 with us. Yeah. So, I anyway, uh, he'll be there next yeah. week. By then, I hope yes. you will find other ways to have fun that you don't only have us. Yeah, you can rewatch the show on YouTube or yeah, something. Yeah, you can watch, or, uh, watch yeah. it in loop. It boosts our yeah. views and it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Press the follow shape button. Yeah. Everyone is awesome. Yep. Especially us. <laughs> sure. I agree. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Ciao, guys. Bye. Ciao. See you next week. <laughs>